hi guys so it's me and I just thought I would do a short you know, shopping haul sorry I am using my iPad forward facing because my camera is in our bike trailer that is in the garage all like tucked away we forgot to of course empty the pockets once again before we stored it away so there's like footage on there from our ride that I still need to upload to my other channel and it's like frustrating because I just can't get to it right now so I'm using my iPad but anyways Lighting is kind of weird as well because it's like daytime, but it's like dreary because it's kind of rainy and stuff like that. So just bear with me, I guess. But we're in my bedroom. I actually cleaned my bedroom. Are you proud of me? I'm pretty proud of me. But we did some shopping today. Um, as you guys know, Mother's Day is tomorrow. So happy Mother's Day to everybody. Um, even if you're not a mom, happy Auntie's Day or Grandma's Day or whatever you're celebrating. I know that when my uh, daughter was younger and I was a single mother, my mom played a huge part in helping me raise her and my sister as well would come in all the time. So, you know, I think not just moms should be celebrated t tomorrow, but I think, you know, grandmas and aunts should also be celebrated just like on Father's Day. I think uncles and brothers and all of that should be celebrated. So, happy Mother's Day to everybody. But unless you're a man, then it'd be Father's Day. But everybody else, happy Mother's Day. So I thought I'd do a shopping haul because my husband took me out. I sold some stuff on Craigslist, um, some diapers, which I still have some cloth diapers I need to get rid of. But anyways, I always like get off track when I'm like talking to you guys. But we sold some stuff and this isn't technically my Mother's Day present, but he was like, you know what, it's Mother's Day weekend. So you go ahead and take that money and do whatever you want with it. So what did I do? I went to Sephora. I had a 10% off gift uh, coupon that I got when I got my VIB status or whatever it's called. And so even though it was expired, I wanted to see if I could still use it and thankfully they let me. So I got some stuff and then we also went to Target yesterday because I needed to get some, I forget what I needed to get. I think it was, I don't know why, why we were there. We had a reason for going, like it wasn't just because we were bored, but we actually had a reason, but I can't remember now. But um, I got some things on at Target because their seasons are changing right now. So everything is price cut. So yeah. Anyway, so we'll get to it. I'm just like everywhere. So I'll start off what I got from Target. Um, right now, the e.l.f. stuff, E-L-F, E-L-F, eyes, lips, face, e.l.f., whatever you want to call them, were all on clearance. So they're already so cheap anyways, but my husband saw these at the end cap and he knows how much I love using these makeup removers because they're super easy. And as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, makeup at the end of night taking it off is not really my thing. I am just really lazy about it. I wish I was better about it, but sometimes I'm just so tired by the end of the night that I just want to go to bed. But I don't like the mascara or the eyeliner getting onto my pillowcases because it is a pain in the butt to try to get out. So I do like to use these makeup remover cloths. I do use the Neutrogena nighttime ones because they feel really good on my face. But to be completely honest with you, these e.l.f. ones work just as well and they're $4 cheaper for a package. So these were on clearance from $3 to $2.10. So he was like, stock up because you love those. So I got three packs of those. I also love the e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. If you hear screaming in the background, that is Wyatt. He does not like his hair rinsed in bath time, so he screams bloody murder. So that's what's going on right now. We're not beating him, I swear. Although the bruises all over his face, you'd think we are beating him, I swear. Anybody else's two-year-old just like bruise like a peach and constantly like hit his face on things? Like my kid is just like banging himself everywhere. Like I feel like I need to get him a bubble to just roll around in like a hamster wheel or something. Like. When Ava was two, she was totally not like this, but Wyatt is just like a hellion who just, I don't know, like I'm surprised CPS has not been called on me because he just looks like a battered child, which he's not, I swear. We don't even spank our kids, but it's just like, ugh. I digress once again. But anyways, I also got these. I love the eyeshadow brushes. Um, I got a small angled brush and then eyeshadow C brush. I used the small angled brush with my L'Oreal eyeliner, gel eyeliner thing. Um, it's kind of like MAC Fluid line, but it's cheaper. And then this C brush I like to use in these creases where this darker brown is. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not very picky about my brushes. These work just as well as my, the expensive Sephora professional ones that I used to have. So I figured these are like $18 cheaper. I'm going to buy them. So these are on clearance from $3 also to $2.10. So I got two of those. And then bobby pins. You guys know I'm obsessed with bobby pins. If you saw my last favorites video for April and March, let me go into my little drawer over here. 
I love bobby pins. Like, this whole, whoops, stuff. As you can see, they're like falling out of this basket. This whole basket is full of just regular bobby pins, and then I have this canister of bobby pins, and then I have another canister of bobby pins, and then I have these like, we well, can't see them now because they're in my hair, but here, I'll take one out. I've had these for like four, two or three years actually. I got them, yeah, right after I got married. I love these. They're like little spinny swirly things and they do the job of like a hundred bobby pins or something. So I use them for my top knots and I swear like it, I use, I think I use four of them and then my hair is secure for the whole day. Like I love them. Um, I also have these plastic clips. If you saw my March and April favorites, you've seen those. But anyways, so lesson is I love my bobby pins. I love them. These are my new favorites right now. They're like mini bobby pins. I'll show you. This is a full size bobby pin and these are the mini. So they're literally half the size of a regular size bobby pin. And I love them because they are so small. So when I do like my twists on the side or like a French braid on the side just in my bangs, they clip in without showing too much. So they're really, really nice for that aspect. As you can see, these are the ones that I've already lost because that's just me and bobby pins. That's our relationship is I buy them and then I lose them or they run away from me. But uh, these are, yeah. So I bought more of them because as I said, I was losing them and they were on clearance for I think $2.50 for one. So I got some dark brown and black and then some dark brown and lighter brown. And then I also, whoops, these are by a different company but I picked these up too because they had little pops of color. So I thought that would be cute. I mean, usually you don't like your bobby pins being shown, but I mean, these are really cute. So I thought, Maybe I'll do a hairstyle where I want them to be shown. So I got bobby pins. Something else I bought was this Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Sorry. Um, something else I bought was this Colossal Volume whatever mascara. I saw this in a magazine, one of my L magazines for top 10 ma volumizing mascaras. And I wanted to try it because I've been addicted to my... I've been addicted to my cover girl... Cover girl lash super thick lash mascara like I've used this religiously it's got like a crack in it because I've used it so much it's fading um this is what I always always use since high school I've used this and I love it but I don't know I just wanted to try a different mascara because just for fun so this was five dollars and something cents and I really really like it I'm wearing it today you can't see because it's backlit but as you can see, my eyelashes, I usually do not have any eyelashes. I know I'm looking at myself because I'm trying to figure out how stupid I look. I usually don't have any eyelashes. Like, they are non-existent because I have Asian, just Asian genes. And, um, so usually this or my Clinique, where's my Clinique stuff? Um, it's in the diaper bag. That or my Cl Clinique High Impact Mascara are the only things that I can get volume and length with. So I was a little ambivalent to try this, but I'm really excited because this really, really did its job. I'm wearing it today, and as, like I said, you can actually see my eyelashes, which is just absolutely amazing if you know me. The brush is a mixture between one of those plastic brushes and also um, the more fibery, like soft fiber ones, like thick, and it makes this nice little cat eye thing. Yeah, I really, really like this stuff. I'm really happy I decided to try it. So this is the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express. This is in very black and this is the cat eye one. There's two different kinds. This is the cat eye one. I'm really happy I picked this up. Again, it's under $6 where my Clinique stuff is $16 or $18 for a full one. And then the CoverGirl I think is $6 and something cents. So I'm a huge fan of this. So I got this from Target as well. Wow, I'm already at nine minutes. Guys, I babble too much. Jeez. Then what I went over there to get was I went to Sally's. If you're not familiar with the Sally's, it's like a beauty discount... I don't know, like a salon type stuff. They sell salon type things. Anyways, I went there. I hadn't been there in a long time. I usually only go there to get my Sachet Vite, which is a top coat that I use on my nails. It's super shiny. It's super just pretty. It, it dries your nails like that, which if you're a mom with an infant or a toddler, you need to have your nails dry really quickly because they'll get messed up if you don't. Do you hear him screaming? Yeah, just because his hair is getting wet. I don't understand it. I usually use that, and I went there to pick that up. But I decided, well, I should just try something else because it's kind of expensive at $6 and something cents for like a little bottle and you use a lot because it's a top coat. So I decided I wanted to try something else and so I picked up this. This is the Beauty Secrets top coat. I know that uh, YouTube Beauty Bump Karen said, I talked to her and she hates this. She hates, hates, hates this. And at first I hated it. Like I, it took for, it took forever to dry. It's supposed to be fast drying and it's, it bull crap. It does not fast dry whatsoever. It took forever and a day to dry. But 
this is my nails and they have not chipped or peeled or anything and they've been painted with this color like I just I did this paint job a week ago so usually by day two or three with any other top coat I've ever used my nails have worn away chipped or peeled off and this top coat has stayed in place so I hate it because it takes forever to dry but it's cheap it's a huge bottle it was like five dollars this huge bottle and my nails are still intact so I guess you could say I have a very much love-hate relationship with this nail polish, but we'll see. I also got this teasing brush. Uh, I don't usually tease my hair, but as I've thinned, because I've been, you know, my pregnancy uh, balding, postpartum pregnancy bar balding, as you can see, this right here, all of this nice fuzzy stuff, is not long enough. It's like an inch long. That's where I bald, like right there and right there is where I was balding and then I balded everywhere else around my hair balded bald did balding balded I what is the past tense of bald baldy anyways I balded <laughs> balded I balded and so my hair is really thin as you can see like this little top knot my hair is below my boobs right now that's how long it is but this top knot is like tiny so in regards to like getting this like poofiness here or just more volume in my hair, I picked up this teasing brush. It was three dollars. It's by Brush Strokes. It's got a cute little pink polka dot. It's got this nice thing to divide, and it really, I really like it. It hasn't. I don't really feel like it's damaged my hair at all, and it doesn't make a like knotty knots to the point where it takes forever for me to clean my hair or to get the knots out. It just adds nice little volume all around. So I picked this up three bucks. Great deal. And last but not least, Sephora. Oh, I also got four of these king size Reese's because they were on sale at Walmart yesterday for a dollar, which for king size, four Reese's for a dollar, pretty good deal. Random. Last but not least, I went to Sephora. Like I said, they used my 10% coupon, which I was really excited about because I was really going to be bummed if I missed that. I'm not going to lie, ladies, there's $100 worth of stuff in here. And if I wouldn't have had my gift card or my coupon, I probably would not have spent as much on this stuff because that's ridiculous, $100 for a little bag of things. But like I said, I had gift cards and coupons. So anyways, what I got was some things that I've been drooling over for a while now. First one, I'm in love with this. My lighting just totally disappeared. That's how long I've been talking. It's evening now. Is my Yves Saint Laurent. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yves Saint Laurent. Loren, anyways, or YSL, whatever you want to call it. This is a lip gloss slash lipstick slash chapstick, like it's supposed to be, um, and it's a stain, like it's supposed to be an all-encompassing type of lip product. So if you like lipstick, like the color of lipstick, but the feel of a lip stain, plus the moisturizer of a chapstick, but you don't want to, and the glossiness of a lip gloss, but you don't want to compromise, you know, not having one of them, this is apparently the product you should get. And it's true, you should. I love this stuff. Like, I saw it originally on Chicka Chew's channel. I saw it on her lips. She had a different color, though, because she can totally, like, she's got this, like, skin tone that she can pull off any color that you'd think usually you'd see it on somebody and you'd be like, oh, you look like a hooker. But for her, she just looks like this classic Asian woman, like, oh, I'm so jealous of you. Seriously, you look beautiful. But I don't do lip colors very well. Like, I have this Urban Decay lip stain, which every I've had this it's like called lip envy I've had it for two years now I've used it maybe a handful of times because it burns my lips I don't understand it it's really sticky like you have to put a top gloss over it which it's like I don't want to have to do five different things just to on one pair of lips you know so I'm not a huge fan of this I'm really disappointed with it I shouldn't have I don't know I'm sad about it because I spent a good deal of money on it but so I, like I said, I don't do color very well. That's why I'm so obsessed with the Maybelline Baby Lips. Like I have tons of them, guys. Like, I mean, I have, they're, I mean, I buy them in bulk. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, that's why I like them because it's a sheer little burst of color. So like I said, I don't do color well. So I was really wanting to do, look, I'm getting older. I feel like I can finally pull it off. Like before, even though I'm 26 years old, you know, last year I felt like every single time I put lipstick on, I was trying to pretend to be like, I don't know, I felt like a little kid playing with my mom's makeup. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't feel like I was old enough to be trying to wear lipstick and look like I was okay. You know, like, I didn't look like a ridiculous fool. So, I saw her channel and she was talking about how much she loved this. And I'm a huge, I have a huge issue with smells and tastes when it comes to lip products. I hate, hate, hate lipsticks. Rimmel, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, doesn't matter what pro company it is, 
I hate lipsticks because they have this weird, gross, sugary, or just producty, like nasty smell and taste. I just don't like it. I don't want my food tasting like it. I don't want to have to be tasting every single time I lick my lips or kiss somebody. I just don't like it. So I don't like lipsticks. They also just feel really heavy. So when I saw her channel and she was talking about this stuff and it looked so gorgeous on her lips, I swore to myself that the next time I went to Sephora, I would at least try it out to see what it smelled and tasted like. First off, I don't ever try use like those test me lip stuffs on myself because I don't trust them. I know it, I might sound like a germaphobe or like I'm oh too good for no that's not it at all. I just it's just I'm just weird about that. I don't usually do that. But I saw these, I smelled it. Oh I don't even know how to explain it. it smells like it smells like lemon shandy lining kugels beer. I know that sounds really weird and a weird comparison, but that's what this one smells like. I didn't try any other ones. I just tried this one. And I just had to put it on my lips. I said to myself, I need to put that on my lips because I need to know what it tastes like because I'm buying that right now if it tastes okay. So I got the little tester thing and put it on my hand and then did the tester and put it on my lips. And immediately the color, like I'm wearing it right now, I've had this on for three hours now. I have not reapplied. None of it has rubbed off. It's still glossy and it does not look ridiculous. Like usually colors just sit on top of my lips and then they like get weird and like get really dark up here and then wear off in the inside and it just I look like that old piano teacher that you just are staring at because you're distracted about their lips like or was that just my piano teacher but anyways that's what usually happens and it didn't it tastes like nothing I don't know I mean I guess it's got a little bit of like a grapefruit flavor to it at least in my opinion I love this stuff it was 30 something dollars it's $34. Like, that's a huge splurge. But I love it. The applicator is just like, I've spent like five minutes talking about this stuff. The applicator is this nice soft wand and it just like, I don't know, it goes on and it's just like, oh, like you just want to keep putting it on. <laughs> but at $34, you should not keep putting it on. But you know what I mean? Like, I love it. And it doesn't feel sticky. And even though it looks so shiny and glossy, I don't feel like I'm like, I don't know, I don't feel like slimy or I have a lot of weight on me. I love this stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I can't talk about it enough. I love this stuff, guys. So, again, this is $34, though. Really pricey. Um, this is color number seven. It is a coral, coral aquatique, I think is the number, is what it's, I'm going to mispronounce it, of course. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love this stuff. I will probably, I don't know, I think they've got a forever customer in me because, oh, Yves Saint Laurent, if you want to send me a few of these, I'd be more than happy to take them. I love them. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. So that is the end of my story for this for now because I have now ranted on about it for five minutes and I'm at 18 minutes and 34 seconds and I'm not editing this because I don't have time for that. But I love this. Moving on really quickly, I got two eyeshadows in the Urban Decay eyeshadows. I have the, uh, I picked out Sellout and I picked Blunt. I have the Urban Decay palettes. I have all three of them, the basics and all that. And honestly, I hated my basics one. Like I was telling you guys a few months ago when I did my February favorites that, you know, I really loved my other two Urban Decay palettes and I didn't really like this and didn't know why I bought it. But to be completely honest with you, I've actually started to appreciate it a little bit more. Um, Crave is just a nice matte black. I've been using that a lot up here or down here um, at night. The Faint is a really actually a nice brown. I'm using it right now. It's a matte brown. I'm using that with a combination of Venus, which is a really nice pinky champagne, just sheer color. And also I think um, something off of the original Urban Decay palette. What other color am I using? Um, Virgin. So I'm using Virgin and Venus on my eyes with the matte thing. So I will say that I have actually been using this Basics palette a lot more. So saying that, when I went to Sephora, I wanted to try out some of their singles because I've never bought their single eyeshadows. I've always just stuck to buying the palettes because it was kind of like, um, I don't know, it's more cost effective because as you guys know, if you buy Urban Decay, the, oh, I can't open the box, the, um, you're going to make this difficult. All right, I'm not returning it, so I just might as well tear up the box. There you go. Like that? Mm-hmm. If you're familiar with Urban Decay products, the eyeshadows are really expensive. They're like $18 for one. So I figured I might as well just, you know, buy the Naked Palettes because everybody loves them. This is Sellout, and it is really pretty. You guys, I'm really boring when it comes to my shadows. I, um, see how pretty that is? 
Like, that's really actually... Uh, my camera, it sucks right now, but that's really what it looks like. I... I don't know. I... I can't, I'm not really good at using really bold poppy colors like some people can. I, I think it's because I'm scared because I'm monolithed and I don't want to look like a clown. I had a really bad incident with a woman at a mat counter when I went to my prom where I did look like a clown. So I think that's why I stay away from them. So I tend to go towards these naturally iridescent, pearly browns, natural, just nude colors. And this one's just super pretty. Like I said, this is sellout. It's just a nice... Oh, it's so pretty. That's sellout. And then the other one's called Blunt. And again, it's like the same exact color, but a little bit different. But it is that Noon, like natural, sheer. I'm going to tear this box apart too. They really don't want you getting into these, apparently. Um, And then this is just like a... It's a little bit darker. I, I lied. It's a little bit darker. That one's it. It's a little bit darker and it's got a little bit more gold undertone, so it's a little bit more yellow. So that's more like a pinky sheer and then that's more like a yellowy gold. I really love these. This one was blunt and then this one was sellout. They're really similar but they're really different at the same time. And during the summer I think that'll be noticeable because the sun will be out. And I just really, I mean as you can see, I just really like the lighter sheer stuff because it makes me look more glowy and not so overly done. Because I don't like to wear a huge amount of makeup. So. And during the summer, I get really tan, so it really accentuates that. But I'm, again, babbling. But anyway, so those are the two that I picked out. I really liked the color Snatch, which sounds dirty, but that's Urban Decay for you. But I didn't end up getting it because I it was a little bit too sparkly for me. So I did not get that. So I picked these. I mean, I think there's difference between sparkly and pearly, if you... I don't know. I go more towards pearly because I think sparkly is more for younger people. I don't know. I'm a mom, you know? So anyway, so I got those. And then last but not least, I've been drooling over this for a while. I got this by um, Benefit. It's called Watts Up. I love highlighters. You guys know that. I have lots of highlighters, different ones. This is supposed to be really good for highlighting and um, just make you glowy. It was between this and the, I think, Pearl Girl or something like that. But I tried the Pearly Girl or Pearl Girl, whatever it's called. It was more expensive few more dollars expensive and instead of it being like a stick like a cream stick it was actually like cream that like spit out of like little holes and it, I put it on my hand and it was really slimy and meh, I didn't like it so I picked up this, this is called Watts Up it's a really pretty pretty stick I don't know if you can see that it's like a mother of pearl kind of just really pretty this lighting's horrible, and my camera, like I just lost, I've been talking so long it's nighttime. My lighting's horrible, but it's a really pretty, like, I don't know, I'm gonna try to put it on. It's just a really pretty highlighter, and I'm really excited about it, because it's like a gold undertone. So when summer comes, and I'm really tan again, this will be nice. As you guys know, I really like my e.l.f. palette that's really cheap. Um, this thing, that's a cream, but this was $3. This, unfortunately, was like, I don't know how much it was. 30 It was $30. This, I don't know, $3, $30. But I just really wanted to try it, you know? I just really wanted to try it. So, it's really pretty. It's like a champagne gold, just, uh, it's really, really pretty. It doesn't really have a smell to it. Most benefit stuff usually has a smell to it. I'm surprised this doesn't. And it comes in cute packaging, and it has, like, this little, like, wandy thing to blend it in. But I wanted this just because I could wear it alone, like without mascara, like without blush or anything else. Like say I'm in the summer, I want to look a little bit more dewy and a little bit more bright. I could put it under my eyes or over my cheekbones or in my eyebrows or something and just walk out the door. So I got that. I really am happy with it. I tested everything out, of course. My hand looked like a mess. I'll insert a picture here. But um, yeah, so that's all I got. This shopping haul was really long. It was more me babbling. I apologize. But that's me for you. I am going to edit this because I feel really terrible that you guys should have to sit through me talking so much. So, and all my ums. So I will edit this down. Take forever, but whatever. That's my, that's the price I pay for being a ramble mouth. So, what's up? Go out and try this if you have the money. Um, like I said, I don't usually spend a lot of money on makeup. Like I know it seems like I do but it's only when I have coupons or it's my birthday or something like that. This was totally a splurge. I would never usually spend $34 on a lip gloss, but I really, well, lip gloss, lip stain, whatever, but I really love this. So 
I suggest going out and trying it if you can. But um, yeah, that is the end of my store and that's what I got. And I will talk to you guys all, I don't know, later. If you guys have any video suggestions, some people wanted to see my makeup setup and some people wanted to see how I organize toys, but I don't know. That just all sounds really boring to me because I'm a really boring person. But if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I will talk to you guys all later because I'm babbling. I'll be drawing for my giveaway in a few days and yeah. So I'll talk to you guys all later. Thank you.